I start telling you, well, this is vanilla, vanilla bean. They must be soft, tender, and rich in seeds. I put the bean, vanilla bean, inside. I cut them in the middle so that the, the seeds can come out. The cinnamon. So we add the sugar. Okay. The amount is written already in the recipe. A pinch of salt. Remember, when you make any dessert, a pinch of salt uh, in exalt. Exalt is, yes, the, the flavor of anything you add to the cognac. By Martel. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it on fire. Okay, and we're going to heat it. We are going to prepare this you know, the preparation is for the cream is that in single cream or pouring cream? Not pure not double cream, no. not thickened cream, just single pouring cream. Now the, the you know the cognac and the water uh, are hot, it's enough. They don't they don't have to be cooked. You know, because they, the raisins has to stay, and it's not too much, you know, they just have to be soaked for a few hours. Keep the, the milk cream hot, you know, just quite boiling, not boiling, and add it to the eggs, because in this case, the temperature, you know, of, uh, uh, of the, the, the mix, the temperature of the ingredients, we slow down better than if I add the eggs to in the pan where I boiled the, the, the milk cream, okay? So slowly, otherwise the eggs will be, you know, cooked in a while and we don't have to cook them. That's the base for the ice cream. I must tell you, this is, uh, oh, uh, Michele can tell you a little bit more about uh, the tradition of this recipe because it comes a little bit from where? My area. Yeah. Uh, this is polenta flour for polenta. Uh, which is maize flour, basically grind, thinly grind maize flour with a uh, double sheet of flour or plain flour. Uh, some eggs, sugar, uh, some nuts, butter and uh, pistachio. Very like a, like a shortbread. Now we decided to make, uh, you know, and change a little bit because the ice cream, the raisin, so on, the recipe, this uh, almost traditional recipe, because it was a way also to know a little bit more, you know, that you can choose as a chef to do something more traditional, to change your recipe, you know, this will be much more complex than the pasta dish you're having. But, you know, this is, can be an open approach, as I say, to any style of cooking, even in Italy there are plenty types of cooking, you know, from north to south, because we have mountains, we have... Uh, this way I have the eggs first and uh, the beans, the vanilla seeds, because I am using, and now the butter. The butter should be room temperature, so soft, soft enough. I cut it in pieces because it can't be too you know, to liquid. You can't use it liquid, otherwise you will never get the, the proper result. You should try to taste the amount and if you use uh, like apricots or figs or whatever you love, use just a few of them before it's too much. Maybe you can add while normally we serve, you know, upside down, not this side because of course it's, if you want, we add some uh, pistachio on the top just for a little bit garnish but if you, you don't need them anyway and then you put in the oven oven preheated oven uh, 180 degrees and you leave there for you know according to one hour yeah for one hour minimum Put in the oven one hour and remember you shoot it, you know, not quickly because it remains, but it can lose its, its crispness. This is the way. Anyway, we put in the oven 
But I show you one. <laughs> already. So it's magic of television. And then you serve with the side the spoon, a spoon of uh, or a small bowl of yes, cream. And then we're going. I show you. We had, you know, the raisins. You should add one third. Such a pity to put all these raisins and not to use the ice cream. Anyway, I leave it here if you want to taste them. Because we have to add two thirds of these raisins. You know, it will be a raisin almost. Uh, but you have, you know, a lot of dry fruit in this uh, uh, dessert. And the others you will put as a garnishing in the, the plate you're using. So. Now it's too cold, you know, we should add when it's warm because uh, in that way it stays much more better. Preserving the ice cream in this temperature and not having, you know, the proper thing is quite, uh, you know, hard. Look, we did not put the raisins before for the ice cream to show you because Look, it's already completely melted. Yeah, I'm so sorry, but it had not to be like that. But anyway, it had to be more, you know, the consistency. But it couldn't work. It was too liquid. The one you taste downstairs will look exactly the way it should. Yeah. Okay, sorry. We tried, but you know, the freezer here is not as it had to be properly 